Hello my friends, I welcome you all to the Kingdom of Entame and today what I will do is rank Naruto characters, the Akatsugi, my favorite Akatsugi characters, right? my favorite ones, I will rank them, it is not, okay, it is not the strongest, I don't rank them as the strongest, I rank them as the most entertaining one, the one who had the most dopest fight, the most interesting abilities, personality, how they impacted me, right? I will rank them with them, with these categories. Okay, first let's go with the trash, right? Who is trash? Uh, he is not trash, okay? He, he is not great, but let's, like, you are trash, okay? But you are at least canon, right? So if you weren't canon, you would be here, right? I think you are. Like that so honestly, you are the bottom tier. Like you are not that interesting. Okay, let's put you D, right? Um, D. I don't. I'm not a big fan of that. Who the fuck is this guy? Like, I don't even remember you, right? I don't remember you. Okay, we are going with these ones. The interesting ones. Like seriously. Taka, I don't even count you. Sasuke, you are not an Akatsugi member. Sorry, but no. Okay, we are done with him. Okay, now the interesting part remains. Okay. Pain, let me say Nagito, no. Nope. You are not a member of Akatsugi too. Okay, now we are ranking the interesting ones. Yeah, this, this Setsu is one member of the Akatsugi, but not the other ones right i don't give a shit i don't count them they were kindly very very they were akatsugi members but they were not there for a long time okay now we are starting with the ranking okay first let me go with s rank okay or well, let's start with zetsu like this zetsu was interesting but he was at the end only C for me, right? Not one of the most interesting Akatsugi members. Deidara, he is for me an S rank Akatsugi member. If I think about Akatsugi, I think about Deidara. The reason being, like, he was, like, not the strongest, but it's the middle field, right? One of the stronger ones, too. B like, he survived one major battle. Like, he, he defeated Gara when he started. Then he fought in the Sazori arc, right? He, uh, he everyone thought he was dead. Like, all, honest, everyone thought like Sazori is dying, he's dying too, right? But this guy continued with armed arms. He was able to escape Team Guy, which was impressive. Then he continued with a new partner. It was funny. We had some filler, funny episode. He defeated with Toby the th Three Tails Jinchuriki, right? And then. He had another final battle with Uchiha Sasuke, which was great. One of my favorite battles. So creative, incredible, incredible battle. One. If I look for another Naruto react, I always look how they reacted to this battle. One of my favorite battles in all Naruto, right? Then we have Hidan. Hidan, I think he was A rank. I'm not gonna lie, right? When the immortality, uh, he is one of the weaker ones, right? If it's any topic, everyone puts Hidan always at the top, at the bottom. Sorry, at the top of the weakling list. But at all honesty, who of us can't say this guy didn't impact us? He has some dope abilities, right? Like being immortal. What the fuck? Immortal. Then getting the blood of someone and le if you're getting pierced, the, like if you're getting damage, you can damage him. Like just imagine after n my guy kicking Madara, right, spitting in blood. This guy takes the blood, makes this Yashin circle, and stabs himself. Like he could, like this guy has an OP ability. Like he is not even using ninjutsu. I think this guy is serious like like if he like he, he must be the weakest member of Saka think because otherwise he would be the strongest right if he had great physical attributes he would be the strongest and he killed Asuma this guy is incredible right like these two members of Saka killed people so yeah 
Hoshigari Kisame. Like, if when I first watched the series, I would put him COB. But after rewatching it so many times, watching so many re people reacting to Naruto series, this guy is so cool. Like, I have to give him the B, A spot. Like, he is so cool. He survives until the end from the any major members he survives outlives even pain like this means something right he outlives pain the leader of the akatsugi right this is insane like he even outlives conan but conan you are a b tier akatsugi member not very interesting i don't have dope moments with you like you didn't have any crazy battle against the heroes you had one battle against uh, you have one battle against yeah Obito it was right uh, not the one like every member of the Akatsugi have this whole arc around them like they were like invisible or like they have a great form or they have like you are trying to kill them over and over and over again they just don't die like very crazy battles it wasn't the same with Connor right it was, was a just quick battle so I can't put them in the same category like even Kisama vs Samada was OP, like he could absorb every ninjutsu I thought at the time, like in his fish form, like he could even possibly absorb everything, right? It was incredible, incredible. Arochima, you are not a member of Akatsuki, like you were a member but you didn't impact it, like if I would put you as a crazy character I would put you most definitely as, but I will only tell you rank characters what I have seen them in doing in the Akatsuki. I haven't seen anything doing in the Akatsuki besides filler, so you don't count. Nagato, I don't count you either because I don't see you do anything in the Akatsuki, right? Except the uh, talk with Naruto, right? So the main member will be the main member will be Pain, right? So let's continue. Uchiha Obito, like. I don't think I enjoyed you that much. Like, this is a very controversial topic. Like, for some reason, I didn't really enjoy the Masked Man as much as everyone does, right? I don't know why. Like, yet Kamui, it's crazy. But I didn't really enjoy him that much. I don't know why. Maybe I met, like, I didn't see him as a crazy villain that I enjoyed too much. So, but I d enjoyed him, so this is why he's A, but I just explained to you guys why I did won't put him him in S. Then we have Sasori. Sasori is A2. Like, or maybe even S, like, I don't know. Uh, I would put him A, one of the top ones. The reason being, like, this guy, like, the battle of this guy was in some, this guy just didn't know how to die. This guy didn't know how to die. And he is incredible underrated. Incredible in terms of power scaling. He's incredible underrated. I see this a lot of time. I don't even watch a lot of power scaling YouTubers, right? And this guy is underrated. And everyone forgets that this guy has the poison. If he touches you one time you are done it doesn't matter who you are right except two or three other people if you can even sakura wouldn't be able to or sunade wouldn't able to counter his poison if they didn't encounter it before just imagine blind you're going against sasori he has the poison he just needs to touch you one time it doesn't matter which move it doesn't matter if it's metal the iron it doesn't matter if it's a hundred puppet if you fucking touch it one time, you are done. You are done, it doesn't matter who you are. Like, this is so OP, right? And this guy doesn't just die easily. Like, it was the perfect plot to make him lose, right? And he even wanted to lose Edson. Like, you can punch and destroy his puppet body. As long as he has his secret, the thing he can come back in every puppet body form. Like, this guy is so OP, but... No one seems to, and he doesn't even need to breathe, he doesn't need, he has so many OP abilities, but only because he was sacrificed at the start of Shippuden, which was a great fight, people forget how awesome this guy is, like, seriously, this guy is awesome. Then pain, like, the pain arc, not gonna lie, S tier for sure, like, the, like, I, I always compare the pain arc with the Freezer saga, man, like, 
where you battle Freezer and everything is so hopeless. This was the same hopelessness when we were in the Palace. This was such a mystery trying to find who this guy is, killing Jiraiya and everything else. Then we have Karakuzu. This guy was funny. Even he had the same boss standard as the other ones. Like, you kill this guy and he has some multiple hearts. What the fuck? And he can like take on an airy guy. Like I wasn't the biggest fan of Kakusu when I saw him right in the first time. I read the manga by the way. Like it was the first arc. No not the second arc actually that I started reading the manga. But this guy. Like killing him doesn't kill him. Like every guy was nearly important, immortal in the Akatsuki. He has all the elements. He was such a beast. So I, like this guy, definitely A rank. Toby, like I can't even count you as a wallet member B, right? And Uchiha Itachi S tier man. This guy, like I like him so much. Like. Seriously, this guy is so... He is one of my favorite characters of all time, not gonna lie. Maybe even my favorite character, so I will put him like... When the first... Th the reason that I even started being a fan of Naruto was because of Itachi. Like, I didn't really like him at first when I saw him, but then I loved him. Like, it was... When he was evil in part one, right? I saw the manga... I, I was... I know about Uchiha Sasuke, right? Then I saw, hmm, Uchiha Itachi, his brother, cool, and then learned more and more, and I saw, what fucked up reason is why he killed his whole crowd, and he says he wanted to surpass his limitation, or he wanted to test his ability, it was so sick, I, I just told every friend of mine about it, like, this character is so sick, like, he killed his whole clan just to see, like, test his own ability, he's so, I like psychopath characters for some reason, because they're interesting, right? Like, and then after the whole revelation that you got to see that Usha Itachi was a hero, this this was the ice, the, how do you call it, the berry on the ice cake, right? Incredible, loved them. So please tell me your ranking, it's enough if you rank only them, because I don't even consider them as Akatsuki members, because I haven't, we haven't seen of them a lot. Like you can even put Toby here, right? I will put him here. So this is my ranking, I hope. You enjoyed it. Have a great day. Leave a like and let's see each other in the next reaction. Bye.